GMB. Welcome to Houston, the bottom of the south. If you ain't from around here, you might not make it out. I done seen it all. Plenty bowed and foul. One day buying the mall, next day lost it all. Don't let the hype fool you. Keep the two close by. Two close These jackets will play cool and hit you with the four five. What's up, YouTube? This is Robert here, YouTube Budget. Back with another video. Today's video is basically a challenge. Now, everybody comes up with these challenges. I've been thinking about a challenge I wanted to come up with, but I still can't decide which challenge I want to come up with. So, something just crossed my mind. I'm about to go in here and get my hair cut because the boy looking kind of rough, you know what I'm saying? I'm already getting bald, but yeah, boy getting kind of rough. So, I thought about doing this challenge because my barber got like one person to see one person waiting so i'm just in the car thinking using that that little peanut i have in my head this challenge is basically what do you got no that don't sound right what do you have in your armrest challenge yep it sounds stupid but we gonna do it so everybody that's watching right now i want you to go on instagram follow make sure you follow me my Instagram is right here, guys. Uh, if you don't have a YouTube account, post a video on Instagram and send it to me. I want to see what you got. Now, guys, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot prep your armrest before you make this video. So what you're about to see is just what I have in my armrest, and I'm going to explain what it's for, what is it, what is it, blah, 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 blah. So hopefully you up for this challenge. And you want to do it so yep let's get started all right so got the armrest right here guys about to pop it open all right so the first thing i got is a pure one receipt for my credit card i paid 90 dollars on my credit card okay uh this next receipt uh oh uh, AutoZone. Uh, hopefully, I don't know if I posted this video before this video or after. I'm not for sure. But this receipt is for uh, leather cleaner and conditioner. I have $2 I didn't even know I had in here. I have a uh, uh, Energizer 1216. I don't even know what this is for. Uh, I'm going to put that to the side. It's my work name badge. I want y'all to see all that. And I got some paperwork in here. Oh, my oil change. Another receipt. What is this? Wing stop receipt. Uh, a t-shirt for Walmart. Sticker thing on clearance. This was for my old, my old, uh, my old iPhone, which is a piece of crap. I didn't throw this away. Uh, another name badge I want you to see. Some Shifley napkins. You can't go wrong with a whole bunch of napkins in your car. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some wipes for my lens or my phone, whatever. And a whole bunch of change, guys, or some miscellaneous stuff that I know y'all probably don't want to watch. Uh, got some more napkins. Told y'all, you can't go wrong with nap. In guys, sorry for hitting y'all on y'all forehead. Uh, let's see. I got a business card, ain't promoting that because they ain't paying me. I got some Phillips screws. I don't know why I got this. I don't know. Uh, I got a pen. I got a see, this is how nappy my hair is. Look at this. See, I brush my comb my beard. Look, it's breaking. Remember, it was just one up there. Look, see, that's how nappy my hair is. That's why I'm getting a haircut. All right, so I got some more napkins. I uh, can't show you that business card because that's my old business. A name badge, some keys, and something that everybody should always have. Bullets, okay? Uh, marker, some keys, my thing for my iPad. Uh, some change in a Home Depot receipt. And, and hold on, something else. What's this? Um, uh, oh, 
So this is from Camera Exchange. This is actually, see Camera Exchange, the lens I have. I'm gonna show y'all how expensive this YouTube stuff is, guys. So the lens you're watching me in right now, this is how much it costs. Hopefully you can see it. That's how much this lens right here that you're looking at me, where you see me through, costs. It did not come with the camera, and let alone the camera cost another thousand dollars by itself. But yeah, but that's why I do this. I like high quality guys because I feel that if I make high quality videos, people will watch it. Because you don't want to watch people with horrible videos, right? You don't want to watch people with hor horrible. You don't want to watch people with horrible videos and horrible audio. Could you imagine watching TV with like horrible like it's not hd quality so i that's why i spent the money i reinvested back into my youtube channel i haven't profit nothing off youtube yet soon is about to happen um but i haven't profit anything yet um but this is robert youtube on budget i've been doing a lot of talking too much finna get this haircut as you can see peace